these teams look Let's ready go, to man. go. All as right. does I don't the know official. what the hell just happened, but we end up getting the boot. The Panthers take possession here on the opening I don't know drive. What we happened, are but we end up getting boot. But we back. Florida's got a hold of it along the wall. We back Curtis update, man. We six and eleven of the year, man. My player got like four goals. Still four plenty assists. of time left in this frame. Mm. Still scoreless in this trying one. Trying our best, man. We trying, man. Right now it's looking like the same old blue jackets, but it ain't gonna be the Huck same old blue jackets. The draw right, here in the we young, zone. we gonna get it together. Along the right wing, they enter the attacking area. We go get it together, man. Ekblad's lugging the puck. Florida's across the blue line. Good reach for the stick to knock the puck away. We go make the playoffs. This the Blue Jackets will play it from the defensive zone. Pumps the puck Just away. Step it up. Shot. Stopped by the goaltender. He got a little piece of that Just one. Gotta step it up. Tries to get it to declare. Back to the point, he set it up. Pass across to Sordiff. Moves inside! Oh, and he can fake his stick for that one! While we have a minute, let's send it between the... ...matches where Ray Ferraro is standing by with tonight's Razor's Edge. Doherty is known to shake off defenders with his spinorama zone ability, guys. With a quick twirl, he can send them going one way while the play moves in the other direction. And it's such a great way to open up the ice. Tries to get the puck to Kolsar. The Blue Jackets take it along the wall. Walker stopped by Knight. But he came out and challenged him. Good save. Moves it to Doherty. And he comes up with it. Knight's on top of that for the whistle. Pretty quickly on top of it to kill the play. Puck has dropped him. Here back underway. Tosses it on to Verhage. The Panthers move it in. Puts it on net and gets a piece of it with the trapper. Gains the zone from the right. The Panthers take possession in the defensive end. Florida's got the puck against the boards. And that's blocked from someone in front. Picked up along the wall by Sorda. Takes the feed. Mahor has got it along the wing. Moves the puck down low. The Panthers have it behind the cage and makes the routine save. The Blue Jackets will play it in their own end. Steps into all of that. Here's a short pass to Sordic. Florida's gained possession along the boards and tries to make a diagonal pass to Parkov. Into the offensive end now. Oh, the rookie's still looking. First, first goal, he's got... Fire those cannons, Blue Jackets fans! He makes a great play on the net. He's been doing it all season long. That's why he leads his team in goals. The Blue Jackets draw first blood here as they score the opening goal of the contest here. Coaches and players always talk about getting out to an early lead, how you can dictate the pace. The Panthers win it. Handles the puck. Bailey's into the offensive zone now on the attack. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period. Columbus has the 1-0 lead. The Blue Jackets get a hold of the puck off the draw. Moves it quickly over to Christensen. And it's a quick pass to Kolsar. Here's a chance! Denied by the goaltender. They go on the attack from the left side. Quick shot! Denied by the puck stopper. 
Versus Lickensoff to hang on to it to get a whistle. You start to wear down a little bit. You need your goalie to help you out. Looks like lineups are set and they're ready to get things back underway. Columbus wins the faceoff. Quick pass to Sorta. Look at that hit. Maybe try to wear down the opponents here. The Panthers are in transition. Can't make the connection on the pass. Couldn't make the connection on the play. Florida's got it along the wall. Couldn't connect, although not exactly an ideal pass to begin with. Merce Lickens hangs on to the puck to stop the play. Quick pass to Kolasar. Columbus gains a hold of it. The Blue Jackets have it now. Oh, and that's poked away in the offensive zone by Hornquist. Sends a pass over. The Panthers move the puck in the defensive zone. Moves it around along the half wall. Long reach breaks up the momentum. Let's send it ringside to Carlin Baden standing by. Thanks, James. You know, the rookie is on a streak, but not the good kind. He's on a pointless streak, and the coaches challenge him to snap out of it. Boomer66 says this kid needs to contribute. Hashtag more points, please, James. Yeah, the Iceman coming from this one just based on a deep freeze for his current streak. Thanks, CB. Looks to set up at the point now. His reflexes on display tonight. Here in the back half of this period, we got a 1-0 game to this point. Slick feed. Drives to the paint, and he decides to backtrack on a good-looking opportunity. Merce Lickens is going to wait for a breather as he swallows up the puck. Well, now everybody can get themselves back to their square one position, and it was starting to look a little ragged in the defensive zone. It's a good play by the goaltender. Barkov's won the draw, and they'll look to set up. Columbus has the puck. Quick feed to Chatfield. Stopped with ease. Knights on top of the puck, and that'll stop the play. Pretty conservative play here, James, as he covers it up to kill the play. Barkov's known for pickpocketing puck carriers and sending the play the other way. That's his yoink zone ability, guys, and he's so good at it. Doherty is hard to defend when he uses his spinorama zone ability to turn away. I'm excited to see these players compete and give their team the edge. Now back to you. That'll do it for the opening frame. We've got a lot... More still in stores, so don't even think about going anywhere or rail find you. They're ready to drop the puck here on period number two. James Savalski, Ray Ferraro bringing you all the action. Moves it to Verhage. Florida's got the puck along the wall. Oh, and that's poked away in the offensive zone by Verhage. 
The Blue Jackets take it along the wall. Oh, what a chance, and it goes sideways. And he shut the door on that last play. We're still in the early stages of this period. The Blue Jackets have taken a 1-0 lead. The frozen biscuits dropped, and we are back underway here. Here they come, down the right side and on the attack. Shot! Big save! He had to be quick there. I mean, that's right in the slot. Dangerous chance, and the glove gets the job done. Officials getting ready to drop the puck to get play back underway. Florida's got it in the offensive zone. Now a quick pass to Reinhardt. Puck set across the blue line. Oh, he got all of that. What a save by Bruce Leakins. They're really clicking here in the offensive end. All sorts of pressure. Dumps the puck in. The Panthers scoop it up along the boards. Florida's in now. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. Slides it over to Sorda. What a hit, and that'll wear down the opposition. Tries to feed it across. Florida's got it in their own zone. Scooped up along the wall by Mahura. And he takes the feed. Nice pass. Puck picked up by Verhage. Gets in the lane with the body. Here's a short pass to Verhage. To his teammate. Chance in front. Makes the glove stop. Flashes the leather right in the slot on a difficult chance. in off the wing to grab the puck after the centerman tied him up. Poked away at center by Duclair. Connect on the play. Moves it quickly over to Doherty. Unleashes a cannon! Knight's gonna cover up the puck here for a whistle. He makes a safe play and kills the play before any other damage can be done. Ray, it looks like a uh, frustrated coach over there on the bench next to you. He wants something to happen, somebody to take the lead, and so he's gone down to his youngest player, the rookie to see if his young legs can spark a lethargic team. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. Columbus leads it 1-0. The Blue Jackets will go to work here in the offensive zone. Moves the puck. Can't find his man. For Hagee's gained the line and on the attack. Here's a shot. The Panthers have been clawing and trying to get themselves back into the hockey game here. This shot hits the pipe and won't go in for them. Fires it, and he makes the save. Quick pass to Doherty, and he takes the feed. Florida's got the puck along the wall. Passes it to Reinhardt. Sends the pass over. Stopped by the goaltender. He's been really good on these high danger chances. And here's another one right from the slot. But he's tracked that puck to keep it in front of him and make the save. Both teams are set. We'll drop the puck here. Slides it quickly to sort it. The Blue Jackets played along the boards. Sometimes, James, you can just see it coming. There's nowhere for the puck carrier to go. From the right side, he goes to the middle of the neutral zone. Officials stop the play, finally allowing the injured player to get off the ice. 
He took a pretty solid jolt there, James. Uh, we're going to have to check in on him in a second. Dougherty's taken quite a jolt here. He's gone down towards the locker room left the bench Damn, accompanied uh, by the yeah. training staff don't like seeing that at all we will try to keep you up to date as soon as possible if we can get any sort of update on his status i hope he's not bad Columbus is quick on the draw it's like three injuries in a row man by like three injuries and by like the last five games, and nearing the final games. minute of the second <laughs> <sighs> Let's see what they talking about. <sighs> and hey, look, I mean, the pointless streak continues, and I know he's feeling it. You know, we talked earlier this week, and, and I know he's feeling it mentally. Um, but you know what? I will say this. I like the way he's playing. And for those of you that are still critical of him, he's still creating chances. He's still performing out there. And at some point in time, as long as you can maintain that level of play, you're going to end that drought. It's going to come. You're going to get results when you are an effective player like that. He's what due. Drought? Trust me, this is going to end as long as he keeps playing the way What's he the certainly drought? did out there. Uh, some of the other numbers I'm looking at here in the box score. Kind of a double win from what I understand here for the club because not only do they pick up the win, but they also get news that the rookie is going to be okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. he wasn't able to finish the game, but according to uh, from what I've been told by the club, uh, the medical staff looked at him. He's going to be okay, and he should be fine. So everybody stand down. No need to try to figure out what the whole roster is going to look like. The kid is going to be okay. Time for a quick break. We'll get to your phone calls next. All right, let's take a look at some of the final scores in the league tonight. The Panthers were looking to steal two points against the Blue Jackets. Columbus proves to be a little too much on this night, and they pick hey, up the two points. At least we ain't at the bottom of the division. The Penguins faced off against the Blackhawks. Feel me? Pittsburgh toasted the opposition Not with a humongous a offensive output. Lots more puck talk coming your way, and we'll get to it next. Will the cannons roar here in Columbus, Ohio tonight? Hi, everybody. James Sabolski along with Ray Ferraro are continuing coverage of the Blue Jackets here for EA Sports. Both teams lined up in the middle. We are ready to get things underway. Feeds it to Kolsar. The Blue Jackets have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Working the puck deep inside their own end. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. Quick feed to Doherty. Gets a glove on it to make the stop. Ray Ferraro with a little comparison between the stars. He's keeping tabs on. We like to call it the razor's edge, Ray. I'm going to try and look at these two players, James, and see who can make a bigger impact on the game offensively. The Blue Jackets take possession off the faceoff. And that one's stopped. Allen's going to slow things down and up for the whistle. Oh, you got to kill the play eventually. That way everyone can get reorganized. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. Still looking for our first goal. Dvorak's won it off the faceoff. Oh, 
The Blue Jackets gain control of the puck against the wall. Moves it to Doherty. Fantastic stick save by Allen. Yeah, it's in a dangerous spot. He makes a good save here. Columbus has it near the wall. And that's broken up. Looking to make something happen along the boards. And there's the save on the play. Allen's going to pounce on it, and he'll take the whistle. He's usually a pretty conservative goaltender anyway, and so the opportunity to kill the play, he's going to take it. Doherty's known for confusing defenders by spinning away from them and going in a new direction to make an attack. His spin around the zone ability helps him open up the ice and create new chances, guys. The Blue Jackets have it against the wall. Grabbed along the boards by Doherty. Puck scooped up by Polisar. And that doesn't reach the net. Here in the corner, he grabs the puck. Nice feed. Here he is, wrestling on net. Moves it quickly over to Shekhar. Oh, he laid a solid hit on him there. He was waiting for him and laid the shoulder right into him. That might loosen a few of the chompers on that play. Dougherty's going to try and shake this off and get back into the game, but he took a heavy hit there. This is ridiculous, man. Still lots of time left in the period. Oh We've still got zeros on the board. Two games on the What are they doing? Am I injury prone? <laughs> My dude injury prone, man. This shit is ridiculous. And with the buzzer, that puts a bow on the first 20 minutes of play. We've got lots more still to come. Second period action next, right here. They out here trying to kill me. Period number two set to go here. Officials moments away from dropping the puck. The second frame is underway as the puck is dropped. Crazy. Two games in the fucking row. What is going on? This is and you ridiculous. hear the fact that he is going to be okay, despite not being able to finish this one. The rookie, from what I hear, is lost. going to be okay, according to the organization. I think that's a huge break for the team, despite coming up short in the win column on the night. All right, time for a quick break. We've got a lot more to get to, including our special guest with the Hockey Hall of Famer next. I'm on that bullshit this game. They got me fucked up. I'm about to do the injury. I'm the one that's about to do the injury. Center's both set to dig on in, and we are about ready to go. Put me in the game. Every time I put him in the game, he's back on. That's his mind. James Sabalski, Ray Ferraro with you here in the early going of this period. Still no score in this one. New York's won the draw in the neutral zone. Handles the pass. Wow. He scores! Zach Parisi lights the lamp. The Islanders have to be loving this start. You'd love for every start on the road to be this good. The early goal, a good couple of first shifts. Now you want to push through this first period. Puck is dropped and we are back underway. And now he moves it quickly to Ajo. And the traffic neutralizes that threat. Came up with a nice save. Sometimes you're in close, there's no room to put it anywhere. The goalie smothered it all. Coaches would love to pile a few shifts together like this. They're buzzing on this all over the front of the net. Nice zone entry from the right side. Loves the puck into the corner of the offensive zone. And it comes up with the save. Big save by the goaltender once again. 
He might want to look around and see if there's anyone going to help him. Two unbelievable stops in tight. Turned them both away. The Blue Jackets win it. And he takes the dish. From a sharp angle, here's the shot. New York's got possession of the puck. Here they come up along the wing. Into the corner of the attacking area. The Blue Jackets will play the puck from behind the net. Angles it over to Doherty. Poked away in the neutral zone by Clutterbuck. Now he takes it over the line. Here's a short pass to Kolasar. Takes control of the puck. Into the attacking end. Moves the pass in front. And he denies that great opportunity there. Takes the feed from the left side. Here's a chance in front. And that doesn't go as it's off a stick. The Blue Jackets gain possession along the wall. Columbus on the attack. Takes that pass back at the point. Passes out front. When you get into this position, that puck's got to be off your stick in a hurry. You don't have much time to think about it. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. You can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. The Islanders win possession here in the open ice. Columbus looks to move the puck from their own end. And he slides it quickly to Texier. No intention of stopping there. Early in the game, he wants to lay the hit on. Blocker save and a good one by Williams. And now it's over to Pellet. Oh, and he stops that one. Monstrous hit on the boards. You got to get... Well, James, you run around like that, you're going to have to pay the price eventually. And what that means is you're going to have to fight. Here it goes. Good old-fashioned Donnybrook here. I think both players are happy this one's come to an end here, Ray. Oh, I've seen this fight before. That's the move before you get punched in the face. I used to do it in the few that I had. Try and get out of there before you get beat up. Well, it looks as though the tensions have finally simmered and we're ready to get back to what we actually came here in the first place for. Hockey! Puck grabbed by Smerich. to Kolasar. And a little body contact on that play. The Islanders gain possession in their own end. And uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. And he slides it quickly to Clutterbuck. Takes it into the slot. Gives them nothing in front. The most fun save for the goaltender, the glove stop. Bailey's rolling along on his point streak. You know he wants it to keep going. Let's set it back down to Ray Ferraro between the benches. Ray, it's like one team missed their wake-up call here tonight. Yeah, pretty sluggish, and they have not been good from the first time. The puck hit the ice. The coach has gone to the rookie, and he wants him to see if he can energize this team. Young legs, young enthusiasm. Something has to turn. Quick pass to Doherty. Takes the puck into the corner of the offensive end. And the shot dies in the traffic jam and makes the save. Polisar's taking it from his own end. Saucers it tape to tape. And he gets just enough of it to keep it out from the back of the net. And a busted twig on the play there. That's where I wish that player was mic'd up because not very happy is the next part of that phrase. Fires it on net. Rushes the leather. What a save by Williams. 
past the midway mark of the frame. James and Ray with you tonight. New York's up 2-1, and the crowd has been enjoying this one. Quick feed to Bailey, and it's a quick pass to Paul Mary. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. The Blue Jackets are on the attack, and he takes a shot. It's pretty rare when you play a game and in the middle of the game the coach gives you a pat and says you're doing a great job. But the rookie has been excellent tonight. James, he got an assignment early. We heard him talking to the coach about it and he's delivered. He's been absolutely excellent. We call his name a bunch tonight. Late goings of this period. Uh, deliver we got again, tie. baby. Let's deliver again. Right. The Islanders win the draw here in the neutral zone. And he takes the pass. Here's a chance. Stopped by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. Work with me. Work with me. Officials are set. Players seem ready. We're ready to get this thing back underway. And momentum on their side as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Cuts to the front. The Blue Jackets get a hold of the puck along the boards. Taken along the wall by Sordiff. Uh -oh. There's the pass. Uh -oh. And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Takes the feed. Moves it to Kolasar. Tried to make a move and the puck hops Ooh. away. Bitch. Horvat's going to hear it from the crowd for the rest of the night. He caused that er earlier injury to the home team player. And they're not very happy with him. Williams elects to hang Almost on and get a whistle here, Ray. Right? Yeah, pretty soon, James, the players in front of him are running all over the place. They're trying to help, but they're not. That cover was important. The Blue Jackets win it in the defensive zone. And with that, the first period comes to an end. Both teams will have a chance to get a breather, and they'll be back on the ice with period number two in not too long. Columbus gains a hold of possession. Now a quick pass to Doherty. Oh, they probably want to redo on that. With possession along the wall. Shot! Oh, big time save by Williams. Lots of time left in this period. It's all tied up. New York's won the draw. Here he is from the slot. Scores! Now you got the lead. Don't sit back. Get right back to the faceoff and try and attack again. Hard work pays off. They've gone up by one here in this second period. Even though it really shouldn't matter, it does change the way you play the game. Now that you're in the lead, you can dictate the pace of the game. Passes the puck over to Romanov. Too many bodies in the way. From the left side, he moves it up ahead. Columbus plays it along the wing. Gains the zone through center. Moves it quickly over to Polisar. Columbus has it in the defensive end. Here's a short pass to Doherty. Oh, and that's poked away in the offensive zone by Paul Mary. And that puck leaves the zone. Bailey's crossed the line and gained the zone. Oh, denies him with the paddle save.
Officials have got both teams ready, and it looks like play is set to resume here. New York's won the faceoff. And now he moves it quickly to Pellet. Cuts into the paint, and that goes off a of body. And that pass doesn't go. Poked away at center by Pulak. Wolfsburg's going to play it against the half wall. Both sides mixed up for that battle for the puck along the wall. Receives the pass. Oh, what a slick stop by Williams. Horvat's time in the penalty box is done. It's after that fight. And now he can get back to playing hockey here. This is what he does, and he should be able to generate some chances tonight. Takes it to the net. And that's off target as it hits a body. Here's the chance to set up now. Pad save. He's on it tonight. He's sharp on this one. Out on top of the crease aggressively to make the save. More than half the period left to play. Just one goal separating these two teams as we sit with a 3-2 lead. Slides it diagonally to Kolasar. Feeds the puck to Smerik. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. Doherty's got it in the corner. Slides the puck across to Palmieri. Takes a shot, and he makes the easy save. Williams gets on top of the puck, and we'll get a whistle. Everybody on the ice is gassed. He's probably gassed, too. Now you can get it. Hey, James, it's, as we know, it's not been a very good night for them. They've been sluggish. Their passes have been off. They haven't really generated much. The coach is going right to their youngest player and hoping that he can help give them a shot in the arm here. He can be the creator. Probably the freshest legs on the bench. We'll see if it pays off. Face off looming as both centers get into position. Columbus takes possession off the draw. And he regains control of the puck. Kolasar's carrying it ahead. Oh, he'd like to have that pass back. From the left side, they enter the attacking zone. Stopped by the goaltender. We often talk about a goalie's reflexes. You've got to have quick hands to make a glove stop like that. Levels him on the ice. James, I love that hit because it was delivered fast and legally. He put his shoulder right through his chest. to sort of poked away in the neutral zone. Quick feed to Doherty. Taken by Smerik. The Blue Jackets played along the wing. And he gets in front of that. Goaltender covers up and will get a face off. Plenty of playing time left in this frame. The Islanders are giving their fans something to cheer about as they lead it 3-2. Nice job tying up his opponent. Nelson's got it into offensive territory. Moves behind the net. The Blue Jackets scoop it up along the boards. Grabs the puck. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Oh, he had the right idea, but couldn't make that play with the pass. Moves it to Horvath. Slides the pass over to Nelson. And now he moves it to Romanov. And that slides right out to center ice. Romanov's got it in the defensive end. And now he tries to get it across to Bailey. Slides the puck to Sordiff. Columbus looks to break out in their own end. Moves it quickly over to Kolasar. Pushes it across to Barzell. The Islanders play it along the boards. Here's a short pass to Kolasar. Picking up steam in the offensive zone. Sends it quickly to Palmieri. Nice zone entry on the left side. Here's a shot. Gets a piece of it and will play on. And the puck's booted away. New York's got a hold of it against the wall. And now it's grabbed by Romanov. Feeds the puck across to Bailey. 
Great defensive effort with the stick. Quick pass to Pellet. Here's a shot. Oh. He scores! And that's two in a row! Get one, you stay hungry, you want to stay on your toes, and while the defending team's back on their heels, they throw another one on the board. And with the centers tied up, he swoops in to take possession. Assisted by number three, Adam Pellet, and by number 12, Josh Bates. Time of the goal, 15 seconds. And that'll bring an end to the second period of play. Let's get a clean sheet of ice and come back with the third period next. Look for our food donation boxes located throughout the concourse. Welcome back, James Sabalski, ready to bring you all the play-by-play. -play. Slides it over with pace to sort of. Columbus with possession in their own zone. Doherty's crossed the line and is on the attack now. There's the whistle stopping the play, and they're gonna go after that. And the takedown brings this one to an end. There's lots of times the gloves come off and about two seconds in, somebody's looking for the exit room. There it is. <laughs> well said. And after that tilt... It's like cooler heads have finally prevented... to hear the fact that he is going to be okay despite not being able to finish this one the rookie from what i hear is going to be okay according to the organization i think that's a huge break for the team despite coming up short in the win column on the night all right time for a quick break we've got a lot more to get to including our special guest with the hockey hall of famer next Well, let's take a look at how the standings were impacted with some of the final scores around the league tonight. The Isles took to the ice for a collision with the Blue Jackets. The New York Islanders toughed this one out, and they get the two points. And yet, for all you paying attention to the Calder race, the rookie still making his mark, scoring in the loss. Well, that's all she wrote for this one, but let's get you caught up on some of the other finals in the matchups tonight. The Kraken played a game against the Golden Knights. Vegas terrorizes the opposition with a big goal-scoring night in the win. The Blues were hoping to grab two points up against the Lightning. St. Louis performed brilliantly offensively in the win. Hey, we got to take a quick pause for the cause, but we got a lot more on the other side. Don't even think about leaving us. World, and I want to bring it back closer to home for a lot of you listening right now. The rookie getting a chance to play or participate with the power play unit earlier today at practice. Now, look, we all know the struggles. We've talked about it on this show in the past. And you know what? I like the opportunity, a little youthful enthusiasm. What have you got to lose? Because status quo, not good enough right now. You're not getting results. I like the change up here. Now, meantime, elsewhere around the hockey world, 
bring it back to the team here for a second and i thought it was an interesting wrinkle at practice earlier today where there's the rookie playing special teams on the penalty kill and you know what i like this move because